Samson, it feels good to know that we are detecting Dimorphos. Now, before we get any closer to impact, let's get to know our spacecraft and its mission. After a beautiful launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base on November 24, 2021, DART has traveled over 400 million miles. And now, in just over an hour, we'll witness the spacecraft collide with asteroid Dimorphos in an attempt to change its orbit forever. The DART spacecraft is about the size of a vending machine and uses hydrazine thrusters for propulsion and roll out solar arrays for power. It's traveling at about 14,000 miles per hour and will complete the last four miles of its journey in just one second. DART is on a collision course with asteroid Dimorphos, which is about the height of the Washington Monument and, more importantly, poses no threat to Earth. Dimorphos sits within a double asteroid system and is the smaller moonlit asteroid orbiting its larger companion Didymos. DART has just one instrument on board, and that's a Draco camera, which is feeding images to its autonomous navigation system, steering it straight into the asteroid. Now teams from around the world have worked hard to get us to this moment. Samson is standing by with NASA's head of science and Johns Hopkins APL's head of space exploration. Let's check in to hear more about the journey. Thanks, Tahira. To help give us some insight into what it takes to imagine, much less attempt a mission this ambitious, I have with me Thomas Rubukin, Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, and Bobby Braun, Space Exploration Sector Head at Johns Hopkins EPL. Thanks. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, Thomas, I'll start with you. The mission, this team has been through an intense journey, years in the making, and they're now on the cusp of doing the seemingly impossible, um, impacting a tiny asteroid 7 million miles away from Earth with a spacecraft traveling 14,000 miles per hour. Why is it important for us to continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space? You know, uh, what I always think is the world is made out of a box. There, those are things we know, that we can use, and a large space of things that are unknown. In that large space are solutions for problems of the future. There's new research, new understanding of nature. And we at NASA, we're all about moving that boundary back, moving it back to make more things useful for us, like DART, but also understanding nature in a new fashion. That's incredible, Thomas. Well, based on what we know tonight heading into this main event, you know, what are, what are you thinking about our chances of impact? Wow, I'm betting on the team. Betting on the team is always the right thing to do when it comes to NASA missions, whether it's this one or other teams we've had. The thing you just announced, you know, that kind of seeing that little bump there in, uh, in the image of that new kind of celestial body we knew was there, but uh, now we have uh, have it on the camera. It's just, uh, just a step in that direction. I'm very optimistic. That's awesome. What the team has planned for months, years ago is coming to fruition and we're watching it live. Absolutely. It's just exciting. Awesome. Thank you, Thomas. Bobby, you've been through so many white knuckle experiences um, with space missions, most recently with the landing of the Mars Perseverance rover just last year. Mm -hmm. um, what is the mindset of the team coming to such a major moment in their career with the stakes being so high? Well, teams like this prepare for the worst but celebrate the best. And I think we're gonna have one of those best nights tonight. There are, of course, many things that could go wrong in spaceflight, but so far this team has been on top of every possible problem. They've been ahead of it. And they just need to focus and, and push through and go for success. That's awesome. I think from what we're hearing, the cheers coming out of the mock um, before this broadcast, I feel like we're on the right track. Oh yeah, absolutely. Any pep talk or advice for the team heading into tonight that you gave them? Well, I've been in the mock several times today talking with the team. Um, they're calm, they're cool, they're collected. Uh, I basically told them just follow the data, trust in each other, trust in themselves. You know, they've prepared for this moment for years, mm -hmm. and so they know this better than anybody. And as a team, they're going to get through this successfully. That is awesome. Thank you both. That's great words of wisdom for moving forward in space, and it seems like the team is in good hands with themselves. All right, Tahira, we're attempting the once unthinkable, but the team has prepared for this moment now to keep a steady course on this last mission-defining leg. Back to you.